Hello, in this video we'll be looking at a question from the A-level paper 1, more specifically paper 1-2 from the year 2023. And um, This is the question we'll be looking at today and I'll be doing the solution out on the whiteboard, hopefully like uh, just like your teacher would if you were in school. If you are looking for another question from this paper, you should be able to find that in a playlist below the video. Okay, let's get to this question. In question six, we're gonna be doing trigonometry all around this shape they've given us. It's not a triangle, it's a segment of a circle. There's a curve here, and uh, we have this straight line across it. And they want us to show that the arc length, that's the length from A to B, show that that arc length is equal to two X theta cosine theta. And theta's in here, X is the length from this, uh, What's that letter? Zero to P and from A to P here. So the first thing we need to do is what's the formula for the arc length? So I'll throw it up on the screen here, but from your formulas and um, the arc length, let me remind myself, there we go. L is equal to R theta. Nice simple one, especially when we're using radians, which they do tell us this is in radians. So all we need to do is get or times theta. In this case though, or isn't given. That's the length of this whole thing here. I'll write it in there. But that does give us now something to work with. This triangle in here, let me write the triangle again. This triangle, oh, that's not a great drawing. This, because these are two of the same length. This triangle, we have a lot of things we need. What we want is or, and uh, what we're allowed to have in our answer is x and theta. So this triangle should be able to give us everything we need. The first trick, and really the only, the major trick you need to know in this question is, you need to notice that this is an isosceles triangle. This angle is equal to this angle, because the lengths are the same. That's the, really the big, if you miss that trick, you might be in a bit of trouble. Um, so all we need to do is get what or equals in terms of these other guys. So we have an irregular triangle, a non-right angle triangle, so we should be thinking the sine rule or the cosine rule. Now I'm gonna answer this question twice using both of them. And the reason for that is I nearly always recommend students to use the sine rule when they can. It's, it just works out a little shorter. Um, so that's what I did here. And then I noticed that they wanted the answer to have cosine in it. So it actually works out a lot simpler to use the cosine rule. But I'm guessing a lot of you guys would have used one or the other. So let me go ahead and do the sine rule first. So we need to just get or somewhere. So I'll go ahead and use or divided by sine of the angle across from it. The angle here is pi minus two theta. So that's uh, pi minus two theta. And that's equal to any other side, we'll go with x divided by the angle across from it or sine of the angle across from it. Um, rearranging this, we get or is equal to x sine pi minus 2 theta over sine theta. Uh, let me write what they, they want the answer to be. They wanted the arc length, L is equal to or theta, that's right here. They wanted to equal 2x theta cosine theta. And what we have is or, or is this, so just multiply this by theta, just put a theta in there. It's not quite the same, is it? So we would have to go back to our trigonometry um, formulas, find something that helps us. Nothing really sticks out for me. So I would first of all play around with uh, the most complicated bit in here, sine. And uh, let's do that up here somewhere. Let's take sine pi minus two theta. Um, and before I go any farther, the cosine way is so much easier. So I was annoyed at myself doing this way, but I thought I'd show you how to do it. Okay, so again, let me just draw a picture, I guess. Here's what sine looks like. So what happens when we add a, um, a pi to, to sine? Here's pi in the middle. Adding pi just gets it to a minus. So if we were here, and we moved pi, it would just be minus this number. If we were here and we moved pi, it would just be minus the number. 
So this is the same as minus sine minus 2 theta. And this is, um, you don't have to do it from the picture. This is something we, we would cover in a class and just, most students would just remember these ones. I like to use the picture though to prove it. Again, instead of minus an angle, um, so minus an angle is just the opposite. So instead of uh, this angle, minus would just be minus the answer. So this would be minus minus, we get a plus two theta. So instead of this here, I can just write two theta. So that's the first thing I did. Let me uh, change this. Uh, or is equal x times sine two theta over sine theta. Now let's again go to our formulas. Now there is something useful there. Sine two theta. We can go ahead and change that. Let me just check my notes. Uh, we can go ahead and change sine two theta to uh, two. So let's put x in here. Sine two theta would be two times sine theta cosine theta, all divided by sine theta. We're nearly finished because the sines cancel, and we're left with or is equal two x cosine theta, and that means. It's right here, L is equal to 2x theta cosine theta, which is what they were looking for from the beginning. Okay, that was not the easiest way to do that. It's, it's how a lot of students probably would have done it. It's, I expect students to be able to do that. Uh, use the sine rule, find some sort of trigonomic identity, play around with it. You'll be asked to play around with signs like this in other questions. So I do expect the students to be able to do it this way. But let me clean some of this off and I'll show you the much easier way. So instead of using the sign rule, if you hadn't noticed that the answer needed a cosine, so we may as well have go ahead and use the cosine rule. I, I rubbed out the triangle here. Let's see if I can draw a better one this time. X, X, theta theta or. So for the cosine rule we, really, we want an angle and we want the length either side of it. And that works out here because we, we want or, we want x to be involved, we want theta to be involved. So it works out quite perfect for the cosine rule. So the cosine rule, oh sorry we need the length across from it as well. So the cosine rule, we're talking about whatever angle, cosine of whatever angle, we start with the length across from it x in this case, x squared is equal to the two lengths either side squared and added together. And the, the formula, let me throw it up again. And this is all in your formulas, a cosine rule. Um, two, so it has a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared and so on. Um, or squared plus x squared minus uh, two times the two, the two sides, uh, or x, cosine, Theta. Um, and we want to know what the or is. Well, a lot of things fall out of this. We can take x out of both sides, left zero over there. And um, we can take, let's put, uh, let's move this guy over so it's a plus. We get or squared is equal to 2 or x cosine theta. Or is definitely not zero. So we can divide that across. So we're left with or, let me write it again just so it's clear or is equal to 2x cosine theta. A lot simpler than using the sine rule. L, the, the arc length, L is equal to 2x theta cosine theta, and we'd be done. The reason I went through using the sine rule, I thought the question would be too short if I just did it this way. But that's, um, if you know this from the start, you wanted cosine to be involved, you had everything you needed, it would have been a good idea to use this way. Okay, on to part B. Part B says to find the area, the shaded area, APB. That's APB, this area in here. And um, find the area of that. I, I can't do that. I can't find the area of something that looks like that. But I can find the area of a, a segment of a circle, a wedge. I can also find the area of a triangle. And if I take that from that, it will leave me 
the area they're looking for. So that's what we need to do. We need to go ahead and try and find the area of the segment, the area of the triangle, and take them away. So again, we'll go to our formulas, and the area for a circle is a half, um, sorry, is a half or squared theta. The area for a triangle, the area for a triangle is a half, either a half times the sides around an angle, around sine of an angle. That's how I remember anyway. So I'll put this minus in. A half, um, let's see, or x sine a theta. And that's what our answer will be. That's a, I'll just put a in for here. And that's actually pretty much finished. They just wanted the answer to have x and theta in it. And we have or in ours. But that's all right because we know what or is. So we can quickly change this um, to equal a half square this, we get four x squared cosine squared theta. I'm just using this or right here. Minus a half put or in, we get a two x and this x, we get x squared cosine theta and sine theta. Just squeeze in at the side there. We can clean up some of this, it's four and the two. We get 2x squared cosine squared theta. Uh, the 2 and the 2 here actually goes, and we have minus x squared cosine theta sine theta. And I think they accept that. Uh, you, can, you can make it only a, really a little theta. There's a few ways you could play around with it. Actually, there's lots of ways you can play around with it because of trigonometry. But I personally would just take out the common things, x squareds in both of them. Uh, cosines in both of them, so let's take cosine out, and that would leave, uh, let's see, yeah, 2 times cosine minus uh, sine. And yeah, maybe there's some trigonomic identity, make that a little neater, but that'll be fine. They just wanted it to have x and theta, and that's uh, pretty neat. Uh, this, let me do, I'm sorry, let me just check that answer. Uh, yeah, that's the answer I got earlier. Okay, I hope that answers this. I think I may have made it look more complicated than it was by doing the, the sign rule version at the start. But if you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you.